G'day guys, welcome back. So I just did that other metallic diagonal pour and I'm going again, I've thinned out my black, not my black, my gold and my silver. So in the last pour I did 50 grams of pouring medium to 100 grams of paint. It's the Sargent's Gold Metallic and I did 50 grams of pouring medium to 100 grams of the silver metallic. So in this one I've gone 100 grams, well actually 90, 90 grams of pouring medium, 90 grams of paint and we'll see how we go. I've taken out the white and I've just got the black and the gold and the silver. So we'll see how that goes. I'll pop a little bit of extra water in that black. Black always seems to need a little bit of thinning out, doesn't it? I found the blacks and the whites. And well, with the global anyway. I don't know about other brands. I don't tend to use a lot of brands. The Liquitex Basics I've used a few times, but um, I tend to just stick to the global because it's what I can afford. So I use such a lot of paint. I buy the paint in two litre bottles. Right. Now let's put in, oops, that's not oil, that's water. Let's put in some treadmill silicone. And I'm just going to go five drops in every colour. Two, three, four. Um, yeah, let's go five. Why not? One, two, three, four, five. They're full cups. One, two, three, four, five. So basically, um, 600 grams, just under 600 grams of mixed paint. Whoops, dripping it all over myself. So these metallics do feel a lot thinner, but maybe they just need to be one to one. Just when you pour it out of the bottle, it's so thin, much thinner than my other metallics, which you have to scoop out. They wouldn't pour, they would just blob out. Right, oh, no, let's do this. Some black. And then what I'm going to have to try and do is pop a little bit of black between these two metallics if I can. That's falling straight through. I'm going to do that. And then I'll put a little bit of black a little bit, doesn't have to be a lot. And then the silver, big blob of silver over the top. Just because I don't think I'm going to get very good cells from having the silver and the gold next to each other. So let's just pop a little bit of black between them and see if maybe the black will make the cells pop. I'm not going to have enough for another layer. I might as well use it all. I've only got a little bit left. And some more black. Big blob of silver. Put some silver on the corners, I think. These are the tricky corners to cover. Still sitting quite thick, isn't it? Look at that. Maybe I did have it too thick last time. Well, I do know I had it too thick last time because my cells were tiny, weren't they? If you saw that video, you'll know what I'm talking about. All right, let's finish it off with a little bit of black. And hopefully this will be a pretty pour. Metallics don't look all that wonderful when they're wet though, you know, you have to wait for them to dry and then they go all shiny and sparkling and glistening. And then you can put your clear varnish on them and then they go even more sparkling. Righto, now I just need to, again, mark on where I want these. I start there and I sort of want to go that way. That way. Actually, you know, because I want this... Maybe if I do start further down, I might have more luck covering the 
corner. Maybe there, there and there. Something like that. Who knows? Can't really get that one any closer to the corner, so that's going there. I'll just have to keep a little bit of paint to pop back up through here. That uh, silver's looking really thick though, isn't it? Look at it. It's leaving a little wall there. Let's see if I can straighten it out. There's another hair in there. I didn't spray these cups, so I was in a hurry. I just thought, oh, I'm just going to do it again, do another pour. See if I can improve on the last one. Uh, if you didn't see the last pour, this is my diagonal pour that I did the other day. I'm kind of calling it my Mexican wave. Someone said Mexican wave. And I thought, yeah, that's a good name. I can't remember who said it. So, But credit to you who said Mexican wave. <laughs> it's kind of Mexican colours, isn't it? Although it doesn't have yellow in there. But it reminds me of Mexico. So that was it. Poured on the diagonal. But I just thought I'd see how the metallics go. Right, oh, let's do this. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I've got nothing left in my cup. <gasps> no, nothing left. So I don't particularly like putting it back because look at the stripies. Let's let's not do that. Let's take it away we can maybe I can just pour over it oh, look at the cells wow this would just make a good flip cup wow I'm gonna have to do a, a pour like this as a flip cup um, now what am I gonna do this one's gonna come straight across on top of it um, oh well See, I didn't want to put that back again either. I'm just going to have to go like that. And I'm going to have to tip a little bit to the sides, but hopefully keep the diagonal look. Because it's just so pretty. What a difference. Put a couple of wormy creatures. I obviously didn't stir my silicone in as well as I should have the blobs of silicone where I've stretched them created the worms. Righto. Now, I don't want to lose too much of this paint. It's so pretty. Let's just see if I can get it to move along a bit, help it along. And as I said, I'm going to have to tilt a little bit that way. But then I'll, I'll still I'll try and keep my diagonal, but I'm going to have to go over there. Come on, paint. Off you go. Off you go. Oh, what a shame to lose that gold. All right. <laughs> I've kind of lost my diagonal, but it's really pretty. I should have just turned it into a normal flip and drag, shouldn't I? See, now this is going to be tricky again because I need to go that way and there's no paint here to go that way. So I'm going to have to tilt again. All right, this is just no longer a diagonal pour, guys. I'm just going to keep that little bit of silver there. I've lost the diagonal. Oh, how pretty are the cells? Amazing cells. I should have just left it as a flip and drag. I'm going to have to do this again. This is a normal flip and drag because <gasps> amazing. Right, where's my torch? I'm just going to torch kind of all over. I'm not going to go with the, the strappies. Just to 
see what this does. I should have talked at the beginning, hey? And then I could have stretched my cells. Don't like you. Oh, there's a ghost. Okay. Well, not at all what I was going for. But... I learned something about the metallic paints. Even though they look really, really thin in the jar, in the bottle, I still need to mix them one to one. I'm going to get my balloon and do some dipping just to see what that looks like because I've totally lost my diagonal look. I probably should have done what I did with this one. That was the previous one in case you missed it. So I put the extra paint on the corners. And that's what I should have done with this one, but it was just so pretty. I didn't want to do the stripes, but uh, I'll, I'll have to, and I'll just have to actually concentrate on making the stripes, but I'll do that again. But let me get my balloon because I want to see what it looks like. Uh, I've never actually done a balloon dip on metallics. So we'll just see what it looks like. Straight away, he's going to go. It's my little glove actually. Well, there's a lot of paint on there, isn't there? Look at that. Way, way too much paint. This little glove's nearly deflated. I'll get my bigger one. I like these gloves. They're, they're the white gloves as opposed to these white ones that I'm wearing. Um, the, yellow, the sort of creamy coloured ones tend to be a little bit more stretchy. I'm just going to go incorporate this blob here as well. We'll do a nice big one there with the bigger glove. And straight out. Oh, wow. How pretty is that? Amazing. It really brings that gold up to the surface, doesn't it? It's a little ghost there. I don't really like that corner, so let's go into that corner there. I'm going to have to try these colours again and just do a normal flip and drag because they're so pretty. And I think layering the black between the, the uh, two metallics has worked well. I really like this black stripe through here. So let's just, it's kind of like the two continents. There's a continent <laughs> and then some water and a little island, but not in metallics. Uh, where will we go? When I torched, I got these little cells up, but I actually don't really like them. I think they were prettier earlier on when they, they popped up on their own. Hmm. Okay, let's go in here. Got rid of that big blob through there. Um, now I needed just a little one up here to balance that, and then I think that might be enough. I don't really want to be dipping everything, you know, but I really wanted to see what would happen with the metallics because I haven't really dipped metallics before. It's going to pop a bit of colour in that corner there because that was the corner that was just um, silver. So not really getting much in the way of colour through on that corner. Now I need to go again on all of them just to remove some of the paint because it's too thick. Okay, how's that? I kind of like this gold haze over that corner so I don't really want to do another one 
I just feel as if it needs something because this is top heavy. So maybe just a little one just here and then leave that hazy bit there. Hey, what do you think? And again, to remove some excess paint. Righto. That will do. Maybe I need to do a all metallic flip and dip, like dip the whole thing because these flowers are amazing and when that dries it's going to be so gorgeous isn't it? So pretty. Righto, let me take you down for a close up. Well it wasn't at all what I was going for. I was going for my diagonal like that but you don't always get what you're going for, do you? you maybe change your mind halfway through. But I do like that. And I think it's better without the white, isn't it? Do you like it without the white? I do. I think the white made the silver just a bit too pale. There we go. Look at that gold cell there. It's got a black ring, and it's got a silver ring, and it's got gold in the middle. Really pretty, isn't it? So definitely going to have to go again with these metallics, and uh, just do a normal flip and drag. Well, not a, not a, not even a drag, just a flip, a flip cup. Um, to get some gorgeous cells up. I actually don't think I've ever done a pour in just silver, gold and black. I've always added white or copper or all of them. So this will look really pretty when it's dry. Very, very shiny and glossy. So there we go. And there's the other one behind it sitting on its baking paper to dry. It'll dry flat like that, just on my thick card. The link to these cards are on my Facebook page in the files section if you want to get them. Righto, I'll leave it there. I'll see you for the next one. I think I'll do another one right now, seeing I'm on a roll with these colours out and just do my flip cup in, in black, gold and silver. Right, I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now.